and you too. We are on Free Code Camp. We are doing JavaScript algos and data structures in the basic JavaScript course, and we are on challenge 57 of 113. So today we are going to do the stand in line challenge. So basically this is saying in computer science, a queue is an abstract data structure where items are kept in order. New items can be added to the back of the queue and old items can be taken off the front of the queue. Write a function next in a line which takes an array and a number as arguments. Add the number to the end of the array, remove the first element of the array. Next in a line function should return the element that was removed. Okay, so we have to think through this one, how we're going to do this, how we're going to actually implement that logic step by step. Um, but with the challenges that we've done in the previous videos, this should make sense. Okay, so next in a line, looks like we have our function built out for us and it returns an item and we have our setup and we have our display code. So this will just display it in console, these last three lines, and then this is the array that we're actually going to be testing with. So, yeah, that's what it's doing. Okay, so what we want to do is add a number to the end of the array. Okay. And then remove the first element of the array. Okay, so to remove or add a number to the end of the array, we want to take in the array, and we're going to use array dot push. So the array that's being passed into this function, we want to push item. Remove the first element. So that should push the item into the back of the array, and then we want to return the first element of the array. So we're going to shift the first item off. If we remember from the previous uh, lessons on how to remove an item from the, the front of an array, we shift it. And um, to add one, we unshift it. So we can say uh, item equals array dot shift and then return the item. So what we're doing here is we're taking in our arguments, the array that we're trying to modify and the item that we want to add to the array. We're pushing that item into the array and then we're saying, okay, we're done with the item. So the item is now going to become the value that we shifted off the array. So we're assigning it to whatever value shift off the array and then we're returning the item. So now as you can see, uh, so for this example, it looks like the the item was six, so we wanted to add six to the back of the array. So before it was one, two, three, four, five, and then it became two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six. So we added the six, and then we shifted the first value off the array and set it to item and returned the item, the one. Shifted the first value, pushed the six, the last value. That's all we should have to do for that one. Hope that made sense. Hope you can follow along with the logic. Um, definitely helpful if you went through the previous lessons that kind of showed us and demonstrated us how to use these methods and what they're used for. Hope to see you in the next video.